Morgan Spurlock's outside the studio peeking in. So we should get him, him in. Oh, really yeah, fast. Him in. Yeah, get him I in. Here. I, uh, yeah, how many, open I need the door, to get Morgan Spurlock in. He's got a new documentary, Jason Williams, uh, on rats. I just saw on it. Rats. You saw it. It's unbelievable. I loved it. Morgan, hey, sorry to make you wait there, buddy. Morgan, how are you? Good to Don't see worry, you, buddy. buddy. Good to see you, man. I've known him for 20 years, this kid. We've all known yeah. him for ever. You want to sit here? Why don't you sit here? No, no, no. We're good. We got enough seats. Nice to meet you. You do? <laughs> hey, well, yeah, good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> Do you want a glass of scotch? We're having a. Uh, I like you. Yeah, I like where your guys' heads at oh, already. Oh, yeah. 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 Scotch. Scotch. Sit down. Yeah, I, I, if I do that, I'll have a, a person's knee resting on my forehead. Right? Uh, at first, when you said knee, I thought it was something else. I yeah. thought, I thought yeah. it was code word, code word word for something else. I would not have told that story. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah. When we heard it was a knee, we were all relieved. I was thinking, I was thinking a warm shit, and then uh, I was thinking the penis, right? Yeah, was, that's what I was thinking. Sure, right oh, there. You're not hearing that story. Hanging like a baby's arm. Right. <laughs> Morgan, a bunch of us have seen rats. Yeah. And oh, awesome. I, it's so well done. I man. tweeted about oh, it. Thanks. This oh. movie is so damn good. I, I'm a huge fan of documentaries to begin with, but you made a horror documentary. Yeah. The music it's, is unreal. And oh, it's yeah, scary. It's, it's, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Our, our editor, Pierre Tacal, who is also our composer, like he, he'll edit during the day and then go home and compose at night right. to score music just for him to cut to the next day. I mean, oh, the, guy is, the guy is a oh, genius. Oh, no kidding. When your yeah. composer's name is Pierre, you're in good shape. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, wait, Morgan, I haven't seen this. So for people out there who haven't seen it, tell me about what it is. So so Rats is a, is a movie. A friend of mine, Josh Braun, optioned the book by Robert Sullivan. Of a New York Times bestselling book. I read book. this yeah. book. Came out a few years ago. Legit, huh? it's, it's, it's a whole book about rats in, uh, in New York City. And, and, so and basically, rats weren't supposed to ever be in this country. They came over uh, on ships. On they the came ships. over on ships. Well, that's how the plague is. That true with the plague? Is that that's that right. rumor true? Like the, mm. a rat, one rat brought the plague. Yeah, over. It carried yeah. it carried it on. You know, within within the fleas, killed two hundred plus million people. Wow, and remarkable. And so. The, so he brought he optioned this book and brought it to me and said, "What do you think about making this into a movie?" And like, I'm a lifelong horror fan. Like, right. I had parents in the '70s who took me to see shit you'd never take kids to see, like The Exorcist and Omen and Carrie and Scanners. <laughs> and when Michael Ironside made that guy's head explode in Scanners, it changed my life. Like, I was like, that that was the moment where I was like, I want to make movies. That is a great movie moment. It was fantastic. Yeah. And so, so I so I've had this lifelong love affair with horror films ever since. And so I went back to Josh after I read the book and I said, "I love it. What if we made a horror documentary?" And yeah. he's like, "How would we even do that?" And I said, "I don't." know but let's figure it out because i think that the you know we could make something really scary let's take it out of new york and make it a global movie and we right. just started researching stories and the more stories we found the more weird things we found the more excited we got and yeah i mean we're really proud of the movie it came out awesome it's unbelievable i i love this damn thing yeah. and the guy with the cigar who's been oh, fighting rats in ed new york Sheehan. city for 48 years ed Sheehan. it's a guy in a room and he's just talking about his time you know just trying to fight the rats Whoa. in new york and he's just smoking a cigar and telling his stories and he even said after 48 years it? it's 49 now to be 49. 50 next year, yeah. He goes, look, if I see a rat tomorrow, I'm still going to jump back. Well, and I've yeah. been fighting these things Especially for 40 years. You know, you know, there are PEDs, these in New York City racks. There are PEDs. Huh? They're massive, these oh, they're rats big. here. They're big. He, they're he rem- massive. He reminded me of, this guy Sheen reminded me of Quint and Jules. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm <laughs> talking about rats! <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is the best part. He already hit the nail on the head. They're chasing after but mice! But, <laughs> but in January, when we, when we, when the movie when the movie got green Talking left. about working for a living, I'm talking about rats! <laughs> this is it. When the movie got green lit. See, I so, I so appreciate how I already said that. When the movie got green lit, I said, I want to find, I said, I want to find Quint. I said, I want to find the guy on the yeah. Orca who's talking about Two hundred guys went into the water. Uh, yeah. I said, I said, let's find that guy, and that's exactly you what. Know. That's exactly what we said. Three of us fell in the sewer, <laughs> <laughs> and we called. I called. We were calling every exterminator in New York City. We said, we're look. I'm looking for this guy. Who's the guy that's got all the stories? It's been doing this for decades, and everybody's like, oh, you got to call Ed Sheehan. Well, Ed Sheehan. All, all roads led to Bay Ridge. And I so, hate. The, I hate to fucking burst your bubble. That guy's in UCB. He's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> He's, did this, he's done the rat guy for years. For years. <laughs> years. Cultivated it when he was an improv. Yeah, yeah. I saw him at the comic strip. Right? <laughs> uh, he's actually, uh, he has this voice. Imagine if. <laughs> imagine His name's if, actually Pierre. <laughs> it's, 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 and it's so weird. Circle. Imagine if Quint was a rat guy. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know if he has a family. I don't want to know so if he has kids. Yeah, you don't care. You don't care. Oh, kill my rat. <laughs> this guy's such a heavy the, in the he's movie. He's the best. He's the best guy to fight. He's, he's the like, best. Hey, 
you amazing. You feel like he could be a serial killer if he's not Completely. You know, fighting rats in New York City. Hey, Morgan, I see you brought your rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Hardy. <laughs> Morgan, Morgan, uh, Morgan brought his rubbers. Here lies Monty McGee. <laughs> the movie made my skin crawl. Yeah. And that, it takes a lot for that to happen to me. I was like, I was so creeped out when you were. When That's every were, review of my films. When, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, they were, uh, when they were dissecting the rats. In New Orleans. Oh, it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Holy, That's then, a dirty town in New Orleans, man. It's yeah. been around this, for too long. There man. you go. There's a shot. And the stuff they're pulling out of these the, rats. What are they pulling out? Well, so they so they pulled out. For, so before this, they they pulled out all of these worms that were inside the uh, inside the lungs and inside the livers. Oh. So all of these, they're like this. So there's a tapeworm. Right. Um, oh. There's all types of, uh, all types of, there, that one, all these different type of worms that can spread. You know, various diseases from leptospirosis to Zika, you know, you name it. And so that, did that, oh, y'all know me. Yeah. Right. And you so know, that, I earn a living. <laughs> so that amazing thing they pull out of the chest right there is a bot fly. To where basically, so a fly will land, a, land an, like a larva on your, on your, on your neck and it'll like burrow into your skin. I'm talking about a larva. <laughs> <laughs> and humans can get them. And like, this is one of the, this is one of the greatest, grossest things I've ever seen in my it's life. It's disgusting. I'll chase yeah. them for three, <laughs> right. but I'll catch them. We're going to need a bigger rat. <laughs> <laughs> This rattle swallow your hole. Right. Little chewing, <laughs> little tenderizing. <laughs> Down you go. <laughs> now, what is this I'm, on, Morgan? Cringing. It's it, on uh, Discovery Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, premieres okay. uh, Saturday night on Discovery. Dude, um, it's so good, man. Oh, no, thanks. Uh, yeah. Why do you go with Discovery? <laughs> When we when we first started pitching the film out, like it was yeah. one of the very first places we went to, and we said, uh, and they they wanted to get back into doing big noisy documentaries. Uh, John Hoffman, who used to be at HBO Films, and would do like huge kind of event docs there, would do like you know the multi mini series docs. Right, came in to take over, and so we pitched him first, and like he said yes in like a second. He's that's like, that's awesome. exactly what we want to do, and he said, make what you want to make. We're on board, yeah. and they just let us run with it to make it as weird as you want, as dark as we weird, want. Weird, you should go like, you ever fuck a rat? <laughs> <laughs> you ever make love to a rat, Morgan? <laughs> Well, you're gonna know. This rat's got a butt fly in it. And it's about to be in you. <laughs> Paul pointed out that you got. I'm gonna fuck you with a rat. That you got rat noises throughout the whole film, too. Yeah. You could hear, like, kind of, oh. like, what feels like rat feet through well, the. Oh. And that's the best is when you watch it with, like, surround sound. You'll be watching it and you'll hear things around you and beside you. Because what makes horror movies great isn't what you see, it's everything you don't see. Yeah. And so, like, the sound design in this movie is so great because there's so much that just builds it up. Really to, it really is, man. It, yeah. yeah oh. It builds up to the moments that you're watching stuff, but before that there's so much happening that just builds the tension and the excitement and the fear and yeah. it's, it's awesome you, went, yeah, you should just kill Sammy the Bull Gravano and they went around the world and uh, there's guys in India they they the they, night rat killers yeah they, they they put their sandals on the government basically says if you're gonna hunt rats get some gloves and some proper footwear they, right. they go out in, uh, with sandals and a stick it's amazing around. and what, the whole night stop they're, it? they're killing yeah. rats and you got your all, gloves missy <laughs> all they got is a net they try Trap the a rats net. and then they're breaking their necks. With You're, their a You're a Nancy. You're a Nancy with a glove, <laughs> right? Uh, because uh, they don't want the blood everywhere, and then they uh, and then they get money for the. They put them in a sack, and so they yeah. so they put them in a sack and they carry around the sack of dead rats all night, and they have to get thirty rats per guy. And then if you get thirty rats per guy, they'll make anywhere from like five to ten bucks for the night. Magic and what get do they do with the rats? <laughs> well, then the city disposes of them. Magic the get in between that guy's twenty ninth and thirtieth rat. <laughs> God, God guy, damn it! That's a guy who's mad. God. <laughs> Damn it! Out of my way. <laughs> You're not standing in between me and a fucking one more. <laughs> when you were following, following them around all night, did you give them a twenty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty spot. No, we, we, hook, a little bit? we hooked those guys up for okay. letting us go out with them. Yeah, right. we, we totally hooked those guys up. Best thing I ever saw a cop do in New York, man, was it, it, about 1992. I was struggling uh, doing comedy, and I got, took the train in from New Jersey. I was walking up to Seventh Avenue. On the Penn Station, uh, side, the seventh other side of Penn Station. And there was a bunch of people gathered around a corner, uh, looking at something in the corner. And there was a rat on its hind legs, like the size of a cat. And I was like, looking like this. And the people were kind of scared of it. <laughs> An Irish cop with his mustache and a big beer gut walked up to the fucking thing, like the outlaw Josie Wells. <laughs> took out his nightstick and just went, boom, hit it in the head. Twice, boom, and then backhand, boom, and the fucking rat bled and just dropped. Wow. And then the guy wiped the white stick between his legs and said, <laughs> I not to see it, move along. <laughs> it was I'm more the greatest with, thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm more impressed with the resiliency of the rat. Three yeah. hits, though. Three hits. Why Three hits. hits. The third one was a little like, you know, yeah, yeah. anti rat. Yeah. Yeah. Anti rat. The, the, uh, my favorite part of the movie was when, I think it was uh, Cambodia, they're collecting rats live. Where they, the, they catch the, them in the rice fields. In the rice fields, and how that whole thing 
builds, and then halfway through, you're like, no, <laughs> well, no. In Cambodia, another name for this film is Dinner. That's right. That's, oh, where, that's well, where he's going. Yeah. But yeah. how it slowly develops, you don't know that at first. And then this one guy really just wants a lot of live rats. So they <laughs> bring it to the one guy, and he's he's paying for the rats. And you're yeah. like, where's this going? And then he puts them all on a, a moped, uh, stacks them up, and then he goes to the border of Vietnam. And then that's when I'm going, no. Wow. And then you see a lady, and you see her pots on the oh, wall. Man. And then you see her pretty much uh, just take a cleaver out, chop off the legs, chop off the tail, chop off the head. It looks like chicken. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Skins them and then uh, prepares them. And then she's she's putting out beautiful rat dishes in, in, yeah. in, uh, for and the people. Yeah, and it smells amazing. Like she she cooks them with like lemongrass. I mean, it smells phenomenal. No, nobody on the crew, nobody enjoyed the fine rat cuisine while we were there because we, we – I don't know if it was a mistake, but it was probably probably a blessing. We yeah. filmed all the New Orleans stuff before we went to Vietnam. <laughs> okay. So by the time we already seen what was pulled out of the rats, we were like, no, no, I think we're good. Yeah. yeah I think I'm all right. But well, how that, that scene builds, man, I mean, it just shows what kind of filmmaker you are. When it, oh, ju- thanks, I know, man. It's when it jumps out like Jason in the fucking Friday the 13th. They got you jump like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and- Look at that guy. And they just love Is that it. Emerald? It's amazing. <laughs> hey, man, man, we're going to make rats today. But Who those, needs a rat? But all those big cages in the pictures, that's exact. So they stack those up on the back of a moped, and the guy that takes them across the border has like 15 of those stacked up on the back of his moped. Hundreds and oh, hundreds of incredible. live rats. Much right. like you would say, because you can They won't, because if, <laughs> right, exactly. if you bring yeah. them, if you bring them to the market or you sell them to a restaurant dead, they won't buy them. Right. Cause they're, cause they're, you got to kill them. Because they're, they're like, well, then they, we, what, what happened to them? Were they poisoned? Did you find on the side uh, of the road? Is this road? kill right. like what is it like because they, they won't eat it but they, Prove they, you kill that rat they have to come in live they have to be fresh they won't even eat they won't eat the rats in Vietnam they will only bring the ones from across the border in Cambodia because they're like free range rats that grow up in the rice field <laughs> having like this. It's, it's true. It's more it's really true. when you cook it does that kill everything in the rat when you cook it it'll, it'll yeah when they cook it up it burns like it can yeah, I'm, cleans I'm up almost it. all those things uh, same so with the chicken, like, fly it just sits in there just burns and you eat it so, well the bot fly will go away but it's like all the other things like the anything like rickettsia or salmonella like all that that will burn away, like when you cook it up. Same with chicken. Well, uh, yeah. at, at WNEW, we cooked rats and served it to listeners. Uh, something you can't do on the radio anymore. And we had two. <laughs> Those we had, were the God days. Damn it. We, had, we had two chefs. Fucking PC police. <laughs> that was a rat out rat day <laughs> back in the day. We, we had two chefs, a French chef who was really into it, going, "Look, I'm going to show you what you can do with a rat, and you're going to like it." And then another guy that just wanted to be on the radio and, and, <laughs> and make it up as he went along. And the French chef, you know, killed the animal the right way. Way, and the other guy slamming it on the table doesn't even know how to kill this thing. It's guts and blood everywhere. I'll show you that cook a rat. <laughs> Long story short, the French chef uh, prepared in such a way, that, and the listeners tried it, and people went back for seconds. Yeah. Amazing, four seconds to eat rat. Oh. We, when we just we just premiered the film. Um, first, we premiered it at Midnight Madness at the Toronto Film Festival, and then after that, we went to Fantastic Fest, which is an amazing film festival started by Tim League of the Alamo Draft House, yeah. and it's like this all genre film festival. All these like genre films, horror films. You know, gore films, uh, you know, great like uh, exploitation films, you name it. It's like it is such good movies. And so we took the film down there. And before the film premiered, they have an executive chef at the Alamo Draft House that he sourced out water rat. Like, where could you get rat in the States that they would actually send it to him? Right. And so he cooked rat for the whole theater for the people to eat before the movie, <laughs> oh, which was amazing. Oh, oh, sourced oh, out water so, rat. So people were just eating it before the film. So, just, so, so, he did, so they gave out the food. Hey, we got you guys something to eat before the film. So people just start eating. And he goes, um, by the way, you're having some rat prepared. Oh and all of a sudden people God. are like, oh, oh, but it was so good. It was uh, delicious. Can you try it? I tried it. He basically cooked it. It was like, um, it anything. looked like, it looked like pulled pork. That's true. Right. It looked like pulled pork and it had oh. like the consistency of almost like a pulled pork and he curried it a little bit. I would have been it pissed tasted, off. It tasted phenomenal. I would have been pissed you, off. You yeah. would have been mad if they didn't tell you ahead of time. But it got better because yeah, then, you gotta know what you're eating, you know. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even, even after they ate it. This is Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. I, I'm saying, <laughs> I, I didn't have to, I'm not saying, I knew he would say yeah. something yeah. and you would be next. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, more than half, but more than half the audience were still just eating. They're like, ah, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's you ever kill a rat for Chipotle? <laughs> Man. I got Morgan, it's un- it really is unbelievable. I, I, I was rushing around today, and they, they sent me, and I, I, I wasn't going to watch it because I was in a rush, and then I couldn't stop watching it. Oh, awesome, it Thank great. you. Yeah. Same with me. Yeah, I was supposed to get yeah, it. Somehow or another, I got left off that email. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I was supposed to get it last night. I walked in there like, what'd you think? I'm like, I didn't fucking get it. Come on. <laughs> oh, you know. And by the way, so Mike Rowe did the whole terriers uh, hunting rats thing for CNN. Mm-hmm. You blew him away with your, your terrier uh, scene. 
Oh, no, it's like, well, what they do in New York, and is I love so, Mike Rowe, sure. but but you took it to the next level. What they do in England is very different than what happens in New York City. Like the the dogs in England, they really go at it, <laughs> right? Yeah, and, and they hire the these. Uh, is it is it a company or is it it's just a, a it's club? A guy, no, it's a guy who basically has all these celiums, which are these little white dogs, and he has also has Jack Russell terriers, rat terriers that you basically call him up, and he'll show up at your farm with his twenty plus dogs, wow. and then other people who are like part of this like dog group will also show up with their dogs, all dressed to the nines, you right. know, and, and they're like. Like they're hunting fox. Like they're like a hunting fox. They're all dressed up, and then they let the dogs go and just watch these little dogs go after the rats, and they rip the rats to shreds. Who it's let amazing. the dogs go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get really aggressive. They they're doing a t- uh, tug of war with a live rat, uh, ripping them to shreds. Oh my God, it's incredible. It really was. And that guy was a character too. Oh, that guy's incredible. Well, how can that these guys, guys not be characters? How <laughs> yeah. yeah. does this guy not have his own reality show? Yeah, yeah this guy's made for a show. This yeah, guy's absolutely. made for a show. They have the the guys that always take their dogs. Dogs down to Texas and Arkansas killing the hogs. Oh this, is right. a, this is That's a right. mini version of that, really. Yeah, when, when you see these dogs, so right there, there's what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven dogs, six uh, dogs, one rat, six dogs. <laughs> people around one it, like I said, NFL. The, yeah. Yeah. Watching, totally. the people just hanging out, laughing and enjoying it is That's re- right. That's what was creepy too. Well, yeah. you, for Real me, you got to believe in reincarnation. If that rat was Hitler, I'm fine with it. Like, you know, well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was sure. such a different, <laughs> awkward angle. Perfect angle. Well, that's well, that's how the movie. That's how we. One of the one of the stories in the film that we talk about. About is a temple in I was India, get to that, yes. in, in Rajasthan, where so in, they have the night rat killers in Mumbai who go out and kill these rats with sticks and nets in their bare hands. Twelve hours north in Rajasthan, there is a very different you know kind of outlook. It's a Hindu temple, and it's the rat temple where they honor the rats, they feed the rats. There's thirty five thousand <laughs> rats. Honor the rats. Yeah, they don't kill 30, them. Thirty five thousand rats in this rat temple. They don't kill them, and their their belief is that when we die as humans, we come back as the rat. Let and me so, tell you. and so they're like, this is our family. These are my grandparents. These are my Great grandparents, so we have to take care of them. I and was so, Gandhi. So they, <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Yeah. I look like a rat. I used to be fucking Gandhi. Oh, so look at this picture. I saved two hundred fifty thousand like, motherfuckers. <laughs> look at the baby in like look the, at the baby. Don't step on me. I'm, I was Gandhi. What the fuck? You're giving me to the dogs. Right. I this, saved your ass. This is amazing. So, so people people put their bodies like no, they're, just talking through it. They're, they're drinking their uh, milk like they drink their rat milk with the. Rats, they You're eat drinking the food. <laughs> it is unbelievable. That's not rat. It's milk. That's, That's milk. Okay, but, but, the, but, flo- milk. But floating but on the top of it, you can see like the pee and the turds. Right. So yeah. how long before that child was eaten? <laughs> somebody on it? Let me tell you, we're going to eat this kid. I'm going to eat this kid. He's going to come back as my assistant. I owned a 7-Eleven in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He was gone. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thirty-five thousand rats at the temple, and, and, the, and the people are just moving uh, uh, among them. And that's the, right. the rats are pretty much, you know, walking over I their mean, feet and stuff. The self-esteem. You, you, that's what your people believe. You come back as a rat. Like why a rat as opposed to a dog? Yeah, or, or, or something. Chicken, or, uh, right. Right. Why a rat? Why a rat was a rat a creature? As yeah. Yeah. To a yeah. 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 Come yeah. back as having a fun life. Yeah. 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 Come back as fucking that Paris Hilton's brother. That's like a dick. <laughs> Come back as Scott Disick. <laughs> I, know, I, could have been, I could have been Scott Disick. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Have another glass. Oh, right there, man. Man. I'm, I'm, getting, back, I'm, getting, I'm getting back into the scotch. The mention of Scott Disick made him have another <laughs> scotch. That's how, Morgan's that's like, how I'm how staying Dickie. for a while. That's, how that's how not a bad life, me guys. Me not me a bad me life. Me and Vic get funnier if you drink. That's true. That is a comedy club better. That's a damn fact. I could have been married to that Scott Disick. Uh, I, I didn't think things. you were going to give away the temple scene, but right on, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's incredible. I played for temple. <laughs> <laughs> I would have spoiler ruined that one because that was I saw that I, that was it's featured. So good. I saw it on I don't know it might have been uh, Ricky <laughs> Gervais show when they sent uh, Idiot Abroad. Oh, oh, it might right. have been there, but I'm not sure the first time it went I went to the Rat Temple. Maybe I, there, it's what me clicking around. It's hard for me to nail down <laughs> except when I'm watching Morgan anything. He's were, were you skeeved out at the temple? I mean, there's pl- plenty of places where you get skeeved out, especially there because you're like walking around barefoot. Like when we put on we put on socks. So I was like, I'm not walking around my bare feet. So we put on. They said you can wear some Go socks and be fine. But it's still, it's like it's it's gross. I've got a butt fly up my ass. I was Gandhi. 
<laughs> What's the matter? You, put put your socks here. on, Mr. Big Shot. I went to the <laughs> Toronto uh, International Film Festival for the first time two years ago, and yeah. I had a blast. It's amazing. What a it, great festival. Who gives it, a shit? It, it, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you about it. Where you went. How was it? I have a goddamn rest. <laughs> I can't with them. <laughs> who gives me what to some festival? I'm, a, I'm eating my own shit. <laughs> I was Gandhi, and I've got a butt fly in my throat. <laughs> this motherfucker from Duke is telling stories about a festival. <laughs> Have another scotch. <laughs> my fucking wife is still here, <laughs> screaming at me as a rat. As a rat. As a rat. Oh, you were fucking annoying as a human. <laughs> <laughs> and this up, this up, uppity Spurlock's putting on socks. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Am I too dirty for you? I guess I got dirty saving every goddamn motherfucker in India. <laughs> <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> Could have made a movie about me when I was a goddamn person. <laughs> <laughs> the rat. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm eating my own shit. <laughs> With a butt fly. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Am I, do, I, do we have tickets <laughs> to the premiere? Yeah. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> I bet you, know, you went bare feet to the premiere, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> An angry router used to be Gandhi. <laughs> the bot fly screaming that he was Malcolm X. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! We're getting. Hit. I said, "Let's just stop. We gotta drop the mic on that one." Not a mic drop. Not a landed here. That's my uh, job. <laughs> he was rocking it <laughs> by any means necessary. <laughs> I think we sold your movie there, Morgan. Uh, I think it's gonna do all right. I think we're gonna do all right. Now, now you just got well done, guys. Now I want to check it out. I'm Thank the you. Indi- I'm the Indian Ebert. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a thumbs up right up your ass. <laughs> Why only thirty five thousand rats at the temple if they? Uh, uh, produced so quickly, you would yeah. think it'd be uh, up into the hundreds of I thousands. I saved 600,000 I mean, people. Well, you're on the rest. <laughs> that's a good question. I, that, I think that's probably just their best estimate, knowing how many there are. They probably don't even know for sure. Right. Right. It's like, uh, and I'm sure once once rats reach a certain number within a communal area, they will stop reproducing. And if, they're, if they have babies, they will eat the babies if there's not enough food to support them. Well, yeah. That's good news. That's good news. Yeah. I'm glad I'm in this society. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam, I never thought to say the starving Indian people, just eat your baby. I never thought of that one. <laughs> That's what Chris Christie decided to do for the starving children. Oh, 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 he said, man. Chris Christie said, do what I do, eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the traffic at the bridge and eat every goddamn thing inside. <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> Did I mention I was Gandhi? <laughs> Morgan, you might have to create a Gandhi character. I think that's if next. You want to go, yeah. yeah, I think that's how you animated. I, right. I, right. 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 I see a spinoff. I see the a spinoff coming Gandhi. on immediately. That, that'll yeah, be part of the extras. That's oh, right. Yeah. Exactly. No, you oh, wait, my, my wife is telling me to do something. <laughs> you <laughs> Sorry, honey. That's right. You remake Ben. That's right. Mm. With, with with Gandhi as Ben. The thought of that is when you think about religion and stuff, like if they really think that's true, they come back as rats. Like Gandhi's a rat. Yeah. Like what is he? And he's got to have. That's a legitimate bitch. You can't be happy about that. Listen, I'm that. in line with the fuck. I kick it in the head of the line. <laughs> Do I have to fight for a butt rat? <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, the question, how many rats are in New York City? They say it's, millions. Uh, there's more than uh, people, right? It's millions. Yeah, I mean, and... and well, since Henry Hill left. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the the city says the city says there's not as many as there's one per person, but every exterminator you talk to say, really? they say, they say, yeah, there's at least one per person. Right. You yeah. see a, and you see Which a I, person, there's a rat assigned to that person. That's right. <laughs> all in the sewers? All, like, all in the sewers down low? Well, they wouldn't. Let, the city wouldn't let us su- shoot in the sewers, which was amazing. So we ended, uh. up, we ended up shooting in the sewers of Paris, which were filled with rats. Um, they but, are, that's but, right. But yeah. the fact that New York City wouldn't let us in, we're like, well, why won't you let us shoot that? Like, ah, it's a safety, big safety concern. Dude, I can't got you. And I'm like, sure, sure, it's a safety yeah, it, concern. Uh, I, I got, I got yeah. my Urban Explorer friends. We could have got you in the sewers. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, yeah we could have got you down there. In, yeah. New York, got uh, in New York, everybody from Staten Island comes back as a rat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, motherfucker! <laughs> 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 Goddamn rat, <laughs> I'll kick your dick through your cunt. <laughs> 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 you motherfucking piece of shit. Where, do you, where do you go to see the rats in New York City? Where's a good spot? Oh, my God. There's so a many. Um, hey. a, oh, <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Wow. There's, a, uh, there's a park down next to Chinatown, um, Columbus Park. Okay. It's right down, uh, right to what is like Lower East Side. Remind me to never go there. And it is, and it is a 
It is filled with rats. Um, <laughs> filled with rats. And at nighttime, because it's not just filled with rats and the city comes and baits and poisons and tries to take care of them, but the Buddhist temple there, like the people who go to the Buddhist temple will also leave food out for the rats because they want to make sure that they have food and that they're taken care of. So they leave piles of rice and all of a sudden the city's like, stop doing that. But they're like, no, no, we're going to keep putting food out for them. Because they think it's part uh, of their they, religion? They, they, they feel like they should. They feel like they should, you know, oh, take care of their rats. feed a rat oh, once, they come know. back, man. Yeah. And so it's, uh, it is, it, that is a very ratty park down there. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 ama- and uh, amazingly enough, the park right across from City Hall, City Hall Park, is filled with rats. Wow. So, what, is what, what is New York doing to clean it up? Are they yeah, doing I mean, anything? Well, the what? biggest the biggest thing they're trying to do right now is figure out how to control the garbage. Because if you can get rid of the garbage, you can that's get rid right, of the rats. Yeah, it, because that's, that is the thing. Like, you're giving them food every morning and every night. You and need a mafia they, for that. That's right. Well, and that's so never going to stop. Well, the key is you got to figure out better containers to put the put the garbage in outside of buildings. So Good. it's sealed up. Like, because now they've got these things, these metal containers that are, uh, they're, they're like, mat- mat- they're compact. There's no way to get inside of them. Like you put something in and it seals up automatically. Wow, yeah. um, they're called like fat boys or something. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Big big boys. Vin Vin they're, as a child. They're, they're popping up. Yeah, they're popping up all over the city. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was so cute. <laughs> don't fat shame. Don't fat shame the rats. <laughs> they're Is just this big bone. They're just rats? big Is boned. They're big boned rats. Well, the black garbage <laughs> yeah. bags aren't getting it done. No, they just popping a hole in that and they got plenty second. of fucking food and great shots of them coming out of the sewers right into the bags. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And it's a big city. With so many people it's, living on top of each other, what do you do? You're right? never gonna, well, this thing is you're never going to eradicate all of them. They're never, they're never all going to go away. Yeah. And what you can do is you can control it. You can make sure that there's not a lot. But the thing is, like, when you only see one, whenever you see that one, that's the weak one. They right. send the weak one out to go find the food, to go find water. <laughs> go find the food. Yeah. Who's the weak one? What yeah. character is the weak one? Are you talking to? Not me. Give me, give me. Like, it's Prince. Hey, send my wife out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitch, go get the food. <laughs> yeah, the, the weak, weak one this week. The weak one will try out the poison and all That's that right. shit. That's right. So they're that smart where they wow. go, wait, there's something foreign in our area. So they send the weak one to test out the, the weak one. Uh, the weak one. Like, I'm not going to try it. You try it. Exactly. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. You try it. You try it, and then he drops. Dead, and they're That's like, right. okay, and then they pee on it, and then they <laughs> know to leave it hey, the fuck alone. What out of food? Right. Why don't wow. you go, Donnie? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm obsessed with rats. That book uh, got me going, and now the, now this movie by Morgan Spurlock. Uh, anything in, that you had to just leave out of the film for whatever reason? No, I mean, like we were really, really surgical in the stuff. Like nothing we shot in Paris like made it in. Like none of the like we filmed at this amazing in, in the movie Ratatouille. You know, you see this rat murder, this like, this like rat exterminator that has all these rats hanging in the window. Yeah. That place really exists. That's been there for a hundred plus years. And so we filmed with the owner of that place and talked about killing rats and how they killed them there. And then we went into the sewers with like the people who control the rats in the sewers of Paris. And it was one of those like it was such as it was a scene, but it wasn't like a good scene compared to everything else. It was like yeah. it was like it was interesting, but it wasn't great. Pat right. Oswald did yeah. not do a good job. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> that motherfucker. He looks like a lesbian. <laughs> He's playing a rat. With all the rats when he came out. I said, fuck that guy. <laughs> this is Hollywood's version of a rat. <laughs> Where's Brad Pitt? <laughs> Where's Ben Kingley? He played me in the movie. <sighs> Well, it's, I think it's, it's Puerto Rico, man. It's going to be on Discovery Saturday at uh, what time? Nine o'clock. Nine, Nine o'clock. Saturday. I'm definitely going to check it out. Nine yeah, o'clock. Absolutely. That's appointment. Set your DVR. And <laughs> other fucker. I got to ask you before you leave. Uh, yeah. Any other documentaries you like these days? Um, Don't say that, dear Zach. No, 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 no well, it's, like, well, it's like, like I loved. Uh, I loved the Wiener Doc. The Wiener Doc was fantastic. Yeah. The movie about Anthony Wiener. The oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, you got to watch that film. That film is that film is like that's great. It's incredible. It's like just just to watch this guy's collapse. You know, over the course of well, we're mad. Oh, we're mad we weren't in it because we were the ones that finally got the dick picture out. Yeah, it was oh. me and Anthony. Yeah. Really? We, had, we had Breitbart in here, and he's like showing us on his on his phone. And the stu- he was stupid enough to hand the phone off to Anthony, and then we're taking pictures, and we threw it up online. I can't oh, wait. We're for the that. ones that got it out there. For I that. can't wait for That's his amazing. kids' book. His, kid, his son's book's going to go. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I, bl- I blew daddy. <laughs> oh my god, I blew daddy. <laughs> uh, you Uncle. see the Amanda Knox doc? I haven't seen the Amanda Knox doc oh, yet. Amazing. Yeah, Who That's Amanda awesome. Knox? Uh, she was the one in Germany. France. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. that's right. No, that's Germany. right. Yeah. Yeah. Germany, right? No, Italy, Italy. Oh, Italy. 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 Sorry, I'm Italy, sorry. Italy. 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 Yeah, we've she got was kidnapped or something. Or? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've no. got we've got an amazing movie that's opening next week that uh, that I'm going to the premiere for tonight. That's why I'm like I'm I'm like wearing a suit. Wow. There's others I wouldn't uh, be wearing much. So, so, Scott, so, so we have a movie in the afternoon. That's why. That's why. <laughs> so we've got a movie called Eagle Huntress that premiered at uh, premiered at Sundance and went to Telluride, Toronto, and now it's coming out in theaters next week. That is all about this 13 year old girl whose father bucks 2,000 years of tradition to teach her how to become 
an eagle hunter where they catch so they basically capture eagles out of nests, raise them, and then teach them how to hunt foxes and rabbits. And so here's this little 13 year old girl with this giant golden eagle on her arm. It is one of the most amazing, inspiring, like girl power movies you'll ever see. I tell every, anybody who has kids to go see this film. It is spectacular. It's the only G movie uh, we've ever made. A girl powering movie. It's yeah. not, hey, yeah. 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 good publicity. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this movie's amazing. It's, it's whale yeah. rider. It's whale rider with eagles. With eagles. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. If, the eagle was Roger, if the eagle was Roger, if the eagle was Roger whale rider is amazing. So if you like whale rider, if you want to see whale rider, then you are gonna love eagle hunter. Morgan has never done something bad. I know, he's, he's, he's we know that. A thousand. This... I, I, after your first movie, I had to go to McDonald's for two days. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. So long as he's never been that's, in McDonald's. I say. <laughs> no, I to, the way I did, do you remember the, how we met? I did something. You were my buddy Mike Staff. You remember that's Mike? That's right. Mike? Well, we we we, told, we talked about we were we were talking about beer league, right? Pre beer league being a long made. time, like nineteen ninety two or something. Yeah. And you interviewed me for something, and I said to my buddy Mike, I said, "Well, this project gets off or not? That that's that kid's gonna be something. That, that's like a that's <laughs> a good, that's a." Go-getter. That kid's, that kid, yeah. that kid's going to jail. No, that kid. I, no. <laughs> and I went. You did. <laughs> How that happens? Uh, but no, it's. Uh, it, I'd see anything Morgan was involved with, man. I uh, yeah, everything you've done, it's been great. Well, I, I I love coming back. You guys have been awesome to me for so long. It's been fantastic. Well, you know, we try. <laughs> you liking the scotch? I like the scotch. Yeah, uh, it's it's hard not to. Artie, <laughs> how you liking the scotch? Oh, oh, I love the scotch. It smells amazing. Why don't you get a that drug too, huh? <laughs> You can spread that rumor that I drink now. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Gandhi became a rat and he's an alcoholic. <laughs> Why don't you go fuck yourself? We got four cameras in here that, to prove that Artie's not drinking. He's not, not drinking. Not drinking. He's not drinking. Drink water. Water. Yeah. He's he's water. water. Listen, he brought his own vodka in a Fiji bottle. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> See, he's an investigative reporter. There you go. What's your next documentary? <laughs> Is this what? I gotta feel like a Bill Curtis, like, here in American Justice. Is this water. Water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just vodka. Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know. So we got to get you out of here? Uh, I stopped drinking in front of people. Yeah, I think I got to split. Oh, all right. Why don't yeah. we take a break? We'll take a little uh, group picture, and uh, and we'll do more radio. But Morgan awesome. Spurlock, Rats, uh, Discovery Channel this Saturday night. I'm telling you, it, it plays like a horror movie. It's, it's great. It's, it's wonderful. It really is good. It's great.